So welcome to ITSP Technology. This is the microservice session third. So today is the live practicals. The last class we have learned about the service registry, admin servers, REST API, and Jipkin servers, config servers, Redis cache, and uh, what is that? Uh, Apache Kafka and third party and pink lines. Those are people missed the last sessions. Don't worry. Just I am I have shoot out one more time. And otherwise, you can if you want more detail, go and watch session number two, microservice related. Okay, it's a totally spring boot based uplay development. So today is the practical part. There I, I am going to develop. Uh, what is the, how much part we are going to develop like this is the last class architecture today we are developing registry server admin server jipkin server and f1 we will try and try to access okay so just i am going to shoot out one more time so tell me guys just i am asking that question just i am asking that question uh, post that video if you know then answer that uh, type in the comment box the, your answer okay what is service registry post the video give the answer okay so just i am giving that answer about this service registry it is the registering all the microservices which are available inside that uh, inside the servers inside the microservices architectures so the the service registry is providing that name of the microservices, URL of the microservices, the status of the microservices, instance of the microservices. Okay, these are things that that the service registry is providing, and also the service registry is called the Eureka service. The Netflix is the providing that. So this is completing, and admin servers. So admin servers. Why we are using admin server? Post the video, give the answers. So admin servers, why we are using admin servers? Because we are reducing that uh, effort, our effort for developing uh, multiple actuators for the different, different microservices. We don't need to do this. Just developing one admin server. On this server, we can register all the microservices. They will uh, the admin server provide that actuators endpoints like health endpoints. Okay, you can accept that. So next is Jipkin server. Jipkin server is the tracing servers. Okay, like it is tracing that uh, distributed distributed tracing. Like it will give that uh, how much how much time they are taking to process your request okay mm -hmm. so next is what is that config server tell me config server is the separating your externalization your uh, application property with your applications so that's all it's the loosely coupled so it's not depending on that okay it's depending but it is not related to uh, binding with your projects and what is the Kafka? Kafka is the message broker and the company is sending one message to another microservices by using Kafka. And also by using Kafka, we can develop event driven architectures. And Redis Cache. Redis Cache is passing a two types of we can we have a two types of transactions. First is what is that? Um uh, Permanent transaction, okay. Another transaction like insert, update, delete, and second one is that uh, nothing. What is that? Uh, retrieve that. So this is the non-transaction. So while using non-transaction operation, we can use that cache in that things. Suppose so we can reduce the number of trip between your Java application with the database. So. Same data if you want. I want same data with the two different users. So the second is not go inside the database. They, they will retrieve the data from the cache thing. So this is the cache thing. Okay. What is the thing client? Yes. Thing client is the intercommunication. Inter 
Rudeka dot I think so. I have put it from to you here. <laughs> here you can use the Eureka client servers URL <clears throat> default zone is there, but I need to follow the default zone. So Eureka Eureka server <clears throat> Eureka server right. Eureka client dot service Eureka <clears throat> client dot dot service dot URL dot default dot default Job. Request I will tell you what why we are need, need why um why I am in mentioning uh client as server as a default server the false server. Just run this right click application server not remote. Let's see. It is running eight six. 8761 Here, it's uh, something goes down. Okay, 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 okay. It goes. I think because of the second client, right? Okay, okay. We need, uh, I think we need a configuration, proper configuration. Inside this, this is not, this is not for that. What is that? Uh, register. Register. Is there any service? And register with the Eureka false. This is the false. Now it's automatically reload that. Let's take the thread the order to this. Okay, let me check this. The false port is this one. We need to run. Mm -hmm. Everything is a learning here. Yeah. I will resolve the issue. Mm -hmm. It is by default taking a zero at zero. It should be coming up perfectly. I need to uh, configure that uh, port here, okay? And server dot port port equals to server dot port equals to six seven eight seven six right? Save it. Yes. Rerun the server. Eight seven six eight. Now here you can access. Here you can the application name, and names, availability, tools, and status. Okay. So now that um here right. 
let me second the dashboard at the URL I'm providing all these things okay mm -hmm. one by one just see okay Noted that application dot properties file. Application dot properties. Okay, application dot properties. Now next is uh, application dot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Control C. Control C. Right. V and here main class. Here is that this is that uh, I'm just highlighting these things. Highlight this so we can start. Okay, enable Eureka server is the important. Okay, and not, don't do anything. Here, uh, you can understand why I am disabled. That if you are not disabled, the client, the Eureka server itself is by default running as that client, not a server. Okay, so that's why I disabled that. So, just only these two things you can do and it's good to go so now we implement this service registry now second is the admin server we need so just same thing go right click and spring starter here we uh, mm -hmm, to to admin server okay back to that back back okay admin server server maybe 17 itsp all these things is set to go okay just take it yeah. mm -hmm. okay admin server everything is good okay copy this and come here okay. so this is completed What is that? Developing. Admin server. So. Mm, wait, 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 wait. First, I need to uh, get that bit inside there. Hit this URL. Okay. Hit this URL. Get this URL, then you will get this dashboard. Okay, yes, it is. Okay, my status application name, AIMs, availability zone, and status. Copy this, copy this, and paste it. Need to decrease size of this, then you will get this. Okay, here you can see here any instances are available. Why? Because here we are not registered any applications right now. Okay, when you register your application, then you can go here. 
the next thing is we need to go develop step two. First step is done. Develop admin sub right. Go develop this admin server. Where is the admin server? Okay. Where go? Okay. Admin server is this. Admin server two. Copy this. Simple test it. Do some small size. Step one. Okay. Now click the next button. Next and uh, what is that admin? Admin we can take. We can take as admin client, admin server as client. We take as admin server. Okay, so mm -hmm. one is admin is completed. Uh, spring web web is required. Web okay. Web also maybe. Web also. Now, just uh, taking my screenshot for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come here. Here you can take these things for one minute. Add an server. Click on next. Mm -hmm. Admin server is done. Now next and finish. This is the admin server. No need to just configure your port. So I need to configure admin server here. So what is the port I need to? Server dot port. Okay, server dot port equals to like I will need to two two t four. Okay, control s. Now here inside that application just need one add the red enable admin. Server. That's it. Now let's run this admin server. Next will go. Now your application is running in 2024. Let's access that local host 2024. Now here we no application registered here right now. So we can we develop two things admin server and less things. Okay. So now just I'm giving to that properties file first. In the properties file, we just configure this. Otherwise, I can take a screenshot. Taking a screenshot is okay. I'm just highlighting that point. This is okay. Properties file. Okay. Copy this. Paste it here. In the next. Okay. Properties file. Go down. And. <laughs> and to see. This is the admin server. We have properties file application.
Hello. Okay, it's fine to me. Paste it here, here. Okay, perfect. So now application is done. Now inside this, we take that a bit. This is also application. Take this, okay. Just do this configuration, that's it. Perfect. Okay. Okay, after running this application, after running this application, you can access by using why I am preparing this node. Only one time you can watch the videos. Okay, don't watch another uh, again, again, this videos. Okay, just hit this URL. Just hit this URL. Okay, hit this URL. Okay. Add this URL to in browser, then you will get this much of like that. You will get okay. Copy this and now here you can get this. Okay. Right now is no instances. Okay. Right now is no instances. Step two is completed. Now step three is now step three is step three is developing microservice. Ping microservice. So just I, I am going to use as a web applications, okay? As a microservice, as a web applications, okay? So otherwise you can develop a REST API. So just I'm going to develop a microservices and another I will develop as a uh, REST API, okay? So for the microservices, we need some other things, okay? Go ahead. Just take that. Now, special take care about this. Developing microservices. We need a client. Okay. Zipkin. Mm -hmm. Zipkin is the jar file. I will keep it. Okay. Don't worry. What is that number three? We put it. What is that? Uh, say hello. Say hello API. Say hello web API. Maven IDSP comments. Same thing. Okay, so here take care. So back this one the subs and let us see. Okay, this is our web apps and take the next. Okay, copy this, paste it here. Paste it here, then next. Here we need take it. first we need a Eureka client. Eureka client, not a discovery client we need. Okay. And next is um, Chipkin. 
here we need a zipkin zipkin we need admin here we need a client not a server we already implemented a web theme lib i will use theme lib for that web okay uh, rest api also you can use it just i am showing to you for that purpose okay so how to register that next microservice i develop rest api okay so mm -hmm, these things are completed zipkin uh, is eureka registry okay admin is completed spring web web is required web theme lib okay dev tools dev tools like that we have these things dependency these dependency we need okay so these dependency we need copy this finish next paste here if any required, then I will modify that. How to modify? I will teach you that way. Right. So up to this is completed. So now we we just developing one uh, REST web application. So we need a one theme leap application. Just I put it one sample code here. <laughs> here. Just I copy this code. I loaded HTML. Okay. In the resources template, the template section, take one file, hello.html. Okay, just I will paste it. Okay, it will show the good message with my name. Okay, I will develop it like that. So, here the very, very important guys, the very, very important configuration we need here. Just we need uh, one uh, like uh, configuration like we can change that uh, properties file to YML file application dot YML application dot YML but YML also is a good way to develop a microservices okay so here just here you can have the server dot port just simple thing just just port is like I want uh, my running an application 101, right? And spring dot, I want this act as a Eureka client. So if you passing anything here, it's not required. By default, it is acting as a Eureka client. Just mention one annotation here at the red Eureka. your discovery client enable eureka enable discovery client right it's enable discovery client perfect now this is working as expected so something i want like configure a bar uh what is that to configure a bar configure our admin server so first we need to spring boot name so here just put a name na? so i need to remove this name not required not using uh, spring dot name a pin dot name what is that here is checked Here application application dot admin is not enabled application dot name what is that uh, hello backup right boot dot admin dot client health admin name instance admin instance word admin url this one so i need to configure that url which is running in that what is that um 
एडमिन सर्वर सो एस टी टी पी कॉलन स्लस स्लस लोकल होस्ट कॉलन टू जीरो टू फोर पोर्ट इज रनिंग ऑन दोर्ट सो नो इट्स परफेक्टली कॉन्फिगर नो माई जिपकिन सर्वर इज रन नाइन फोर वन वन सो हाउ टू रन जिपकिन सर्वर ऑल्सो लेट्स इन दिस सर्वर पब्लिक माइक्रो सर्विस स्टेशन ओके Here I have downloaded only Jipkin. How to download? Just go uh, Jipkin. Search Jipkin server download. Download this. Its official website open. And just uh, to click on this, it's open a registry release latest release. Okay, and to see. हम्म हम्म डाउनलोड जिपकिन जिपकिन दिस इज द टोटल एंड पॉइंट्स एंड वेयर यू शुड टैप Java, click on the release, okay, paste it. Step four, type text. Step four or third, whatever it is, you suggest is. Totally different for you, and right. Okay, so now <clears throat> just right click on the sorry, click on this, and it will asking to you just save it, okay, and it will download. So I have already downloaded. So in the other zipkin, open CMD, run Java, iPhone jar. Dot tab enter. Jipkin server will run. Okay. Run Jipkin server. Jar. Like that. So now, Jipkin server is running. Now here you can see what is the port number four one nine nine four nine four one one. So go inside this. Okay, take local host. Local host nine four one one. Right. Now here any tracing has there run query. Let's see any tracing is there available? Dependencies tracing. Okay, nothing is there inside this because I didn't develop anything. So now just develop our application. Go here. So now just we configured our admin server. So we need a Jipkin also. So here I mentioned that uh, Erica. Twenty twenty four admin server, then management for endpoint for the web exposer. Okay, that is star. I need to put it to so, go and check. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here management management. Let's. dot server
what is that uh, let me check mm -hmm. end points okay end points server end point end points end points dot authentication bin features help okay let's go ahead and check what is that web dot exposer web dot web dot exposer dot include star all the endpoints I need to include just save this it's not running right now here you can see anything is available nothing is available in that server also nothing inside the jipkin also nothing so let's run this okay save it Now let's see if it's running. Uh, we put it's running up. One zero one is up. Zero one is replicated. Type. Replication false. Replication true. All right. Well, now let's see here first Eureka server. Here you can see now we get three. <clears throat> Say hello app. We get the application name. AMS name availability zone status like this is nothing what status is up this is what is that instance one instance is running this is api here you can see if it's coming coming it's only coming and jipkin server let's see any tracing is there no tracing why because i didn't hit that application right let's see i will hit the traces coming on here you can see uh, by using this, just click on this. Inside the logger, we can change the logger uh, label. Right now is the info label logger as coming here. If you can see info label, just I want to change that. So just debug label, click there. Here you can see, now we are getting debug label info, right? Suppose I need to change test level. Now we are getting test level also. Wait some time. It will. If we, any test level is coming, then it will come. Not coming tracing level. Okay. It's okay. Just I need to error level. Let me check. Error level is coming. It's tracing, debugging, error level. Error level is not coming. Okay. So now here you can change without restarting your application. You can change your uh, error level. Okay. By using admin server also on the previously we can mention uh, change our error level message in the inside the properties file okay so now just hit our uh, what is that is there any controller no just i need to develop one controller so mm -hmm. class com dot controller Learn say hello say hello now create this controller add the red controller add the red controller i need controller okay A request mapping request mapping i need okay so public string what is the public string and say hello passing that name string i'm passing that name at the, from the browser so we need a path variable path variable what is that name and string take as a name now i need a model model for that UI model to bind that object UI to send that return. What is that? Hello, page. 
So now I need uh, that one message like a string message equals to hi welcome to hi my name what is that name anything hi welcome to three learning right perfect so now I need to bind this uh, message into that model model dot add that model dot add attribute. What is the name of that message which are using inside that which are using inside the HTML file here message same name you should pass in the model attribute. Okay, control V save it. And uh, just I need to <clears throat> not that get mapping. Just say hello and pass in that. Okay, take it a small hello. Okay. So now let's try to hit this. Now let's see your application is running. Let's see. Your application is running here. You can see the mm -hmm, anything is coming, not coming. Let's see. Matrixes change detail also. Here you can send up how much memory, how much size they are using. So now wait yeah. Okay. So now adjust local host. What is that port? Here you can see that port also 1010 localhost 1010 slash hello slash Vivek. Let's see. Now hub welcome Vivek. Hi Vivek. Welcome free learning hub. Now here you can see. Here you can see. Now here you can see. We are getting a hi Vivek. Welcome to learning. Now here. Now here you can see trace will come up. when you hit that URL. When you hit that URL, tracing will come. Right. Now here say hello. My it's suppose when I want to open this. Okay. The, it, this is taking show. Now service is one. Two point three millisecond is taking a duration. Yeah? So like that, we can get that our application. So now just I need to take a screenshot for this. Okay. Okay. Copy this. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Let's see. Um, to application go take one. This also. Actuator here. Lots of actuator. I will show you. Just I am taking that notes for you. So. This is the Eureka server. This is the admin server. This I'm writing. What is that? A server, a registry server. And this is nothing but admin server. server. And passing the Jipkin servers also traces back this. And let's see how many times requests are coming. This is also yeah, like that. Copy this. 
Text here. Now take it direct. Jip kins are like that we have okay first we developing applications okay i will comment the code on my github repository there you can get it okay so now we are getting that name as well okay so now just i'm explaining this understand so up to this you can know that here you can see total available memory 19 mb number of 12 gpu current memory uses this one server uptime like that admin server this is the important just click on this go here or not this just click on this and details here you can see the details about that cpu current uses matrices environment you can check beans you can check how many beans are getting configuration properties and schedule task okay logger also here you can see and mapping this is the end point you can see that actuator beans okay like that get that dispatcher server let's say hello cache actuator mapping features refresh cache time so these many endpoints are uh, maintaining okay so here you can see local host what is that um mm -hmm. local host local host one zero zero this is not here copy this paste this tool host now they zero it Golden one zero. You see, it's any actuator information is coming, not no help. Health here, you can see status is up, status is up. You are getting it now. How many application like you can get it? Check it, actuator health. That's why the advanced server is fine. cache. You can check also mapping that tracing done. Here you can see that uh, that is running. How the running and locks are coming continuously. Locks are coming to level advanced server. Okay. So that much time is testing. Okay. Now, now dump area, heap dump, thread dump. All these things, you can download the thread dump also. All these things, but right now I'm just deploying only one application. No? So next session, I will deploy another application also. Just I'm sharing the nodes also. Wait. Okay. So, what is this? Okay, app. Here I'm just app. Web app. Okay. And what is the class we have? Okay, we have this class. An HTML page. Okay. HTML page we have. Okay, now next is add a page. Next is mm -hmm. this one also to do, 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 do. wait. Okay, 
so go and take application dot yml Now observe this one thing. One thing I forgot it here. I mentioned any URL by default. If you are uh, your admin server is running in six eight seven six one port, then it's not required to configure default. Configure in that. If your uh, registry registry server is running in the different port, then you should use. And that endpoint what is that endpoint like this default zone it should configure like that but right now the our application is running in the different same <clears throat> yeah uh it's two our uh, application is yes okay so this one is also not required so now these only things i need to discuss with you so if you want form files, also I will check. And let's see uh -huh. form file you need now. So just adding one more file and paste it. And it's too much size. Okay, it's up to size. Okay, so now this is up to you. How do you are practicing? Just follow this video. Okay, just follow this video. Then you can develop these three things and uh, download the Jipkin servers. Okay, now all up. Now, if you develop another API, then another microservices, and the microservices are also shown here. You should configure these micro uh, these uh, in your application these dependency you need to add up. That's it. Okay. Thank you. We will meet next session. There we will uh, learn more about that one more developing API REST API. Okay. So the session is too far, <laughs> too long. So okay, it's okay. Fine. Thanks. We will meet next session. Guys. There I will teach you how to mm -hmm. deploy one more microservices, like a number of microservices and using REST API. Okay. Thank you.